What a blessing it is to come and to be back in your homes another week. Amen. Just to brag on this man called Jesus. We're so thankful for each one that is tuned to see him today. And we hope and pray that the program uh, is going to be a blessing to you. We hope and pray that it'll be an uplift. And maybe you might be going through something today that nobody else don't know anything about except the Lord. And we just pray today that God will help you with whatever you're going through and be an uplift to you. And we hope and pray today these songs is going to be an uplift to you today. And boy, I'm telling you, I can't hardly wait sometimes to be able to get over on the other side to be able to sit down and just to be able to thank him for everything that he's done. And Boy, we are glad today that you took a little bit of time out to invite us in. And we hope and pray today that the songs is going to be a blessing to you. And you listen to them as we uh, try to sing them. And if you know them, just sing right along with us. That sounds like home to me, right where I want to be. There'll be no tears to fill up. Story as we sing of his grace and glory, where the saints of God will be. That sounds like home to me. Somewhere just across the Jordan River is a place of everlasting joy and peace. like home to me right where I want to be there'll be no tears to fill our eyes again the hills will echo the story as we sing of his grace and glory where the saints of God will be that sounds like children playing by the tree of life. No pain or disappointments that will hurt us. And Jesus Christ himself will be the light. That sounds like home to me. Right
saying amen. Boy, ain't you glad, thank God, that there's a place that is waiting over on the other side, amen. And it's just not going to be a place, but it's going to be home, amen, whenever we get there and be able to just thank God for everything that he has done, amen. Boy, he's been so good to us, and amen, and we uh, hope and pray today that he's been good to you and hope and pray that you know him as your personal Savior, amen, and if not, we pray today that something might be said or something might be done, amen, that would cause you to realize just how great of a love that God had for you, amen, to send his son that you might be able to have eternal life. My, how good it is to be back with you again another time, amen. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer, going to ask God to add his blessings upon everything that is said and done, amen, that Jesus gets all the glory and all the honor and all the praise, amen, of everything that's done here today, amen, that it'll just be an uplift to his holy and precious name because he is so worthy, amen. We're going to ask Brother Jimmy, if he would, to lead us off in a word of prayer today. Dear Lord, we thank you for bringing us here today to bring the message out to the people out in, out in the land where we know that there's a need for the Lord Jesus Christ to be on everybody's heart and soul. And dear Lord, we just ask you to have, make, have a blessing on the pastor as he brings the message, dear Lord, and, and let it touch somebody's heart. And we ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ and for his sake. Amen. 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 Boy, I'm telling you what, I, I, uh, we're getting ready to do another song for you, but before we do that, we just want to thank the ones, amen, that has taken time to call in, the ones that's wrote in by mail, and the ones that we meet out in public sometimes, amen, they'll tell us that they enjoy the program. And it's a blessing to us, and, and uh, we just hope and pray today that if you're out there and you have a need today, why don't you just pick up the phone, amen, and call, and, amen, we'd be more than glad to have prayer with you. Amen, to lead you through the scriptures, especially if you don't know this man called Jesus as your Savior. We pray today, amen, that you'll just get a hold of somebody that, amen, will be able to pray with you. Amen, and be able to just let you to pray through. Amen. And boy, the title of this next song is, Lord, You've Been So Good. Amen. We can look back through our life, and even though we've had a lot of problems, we've had a lot of disappointments, they've been a lot of trials. They've been a lot of things that me and my wife has went through since we got married. Amen. But I'm glad today. Amen. Through it all, through everything. Amen. We can look back and say, Lord, boy, you've been so good to me. Amen. And boy, and I'm telling you, he has. Amen. He'll continue to be good to us. Amen. Until he takes us home to be with him. Amen. So we hope and pray today that this next song is a blessing to you. You've been so good through my troubles and my trials You've understood You met every need like you said you would Lord, you've been so good You reached down your hand for me You saved my soul and you set me free You gave me life eternally Lord, you've been so good Pick me up when I was down You set my
amen, amen. I hope and pray today that you can say that the Lord has been so good to you. Amen. You pray as my wife gives a few of the announcements today. We'd like to invite you to come out and join us at Grace Independent Baptist Church at 2507 Olivia Road in Sanford, North Carolina. Our Sunday school is at 10. Morning worship is at 11. Our evening service starts at 5. Our Wednesday night service starts at 7. Uh, we do have some activities going on for the Christmas um, season. Um, but we, we're still trying to figure out part of it, so we'll let you know a little bit later exactly what all is going on. Um, we do have uh, the prayer boxes is out there, and if you have a prayer request and you don't want to, to have it have us know who you are or if you want to sign your name just drop it in the prayer box on tuesday nights we pray over all the prayer requests the blessing box is up and it's doing great uh people's donating food and people's taking food and to the ones who's taking the food we just hope it helps to keep you and your families you know full and and keep the kids from being hungry or an older person from being hungry and you know we just are so thankful that the lord has been allowed us to do this um honey hey man what a blessing it is to be back in your homes again this morning with a little bit out of the word of god and you pray today that god will have his way in everything that is said and done and pray today that the message amen would accomplish that 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 is sent out to do amen we got a piece of scripture that we want to read to you today it's going to be in acts chapter number four amen down in verse number 12 amen and I want you to listen to the reading of god's word amen and amen as we read this scripture i just want you to let it really sink in today amen boy how we how we get so mixed up sometimes in life and how that things become more important amen and we forget uh, a long life's journey sometimes the really important thing amen and I want you to listen to the piece of scripture as uh, Peter was writing here he said neither is there salvation in any other amen for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Amen. We're going to read that to you one more time. Amen. Then go to the Lord in prayer. It said, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Let us pray. Father, dear Lord, it's again, God, that we come to you with thankful hearts, thanking you, Lord, for this day. Thanking you, Father, for another opportunity, Lord, of being here today. And Lord, we pray today, God, that you would just touch this message, Lord, in a mighty, mighty way. Father, dear God, that it might touch the ones, Lord, sitting in their homes today. Lord, the ones in the nursing homes, maybe the hospitals, God. Father, this saying, the Lord, that we come to them today, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, is where our hope lies. And Father, we pray today, Lord, that you would touch this message and touch us, dear God, this morning, Lord, that we might be able to preach this with the authority of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God, have your way today, Lord, in everything, Father, that is said and done. And God, whatever's accomplished, Lord, will not fail, God, to bow our head, and Lord, to give you the praise and the honor and the glory, Father. For God, we ask it all in Jesus' holy and precious name we do pray. And amen and amen. You know, as we look at this uh, message today, amen, we want to do a little bit of backing up on it, amen. We find that Peter and Am they had walked with the Lord, amen they had seen the Lord uh, do many things, amen, they had seen the Lord since he had been dead and buried, they would seen him uh, resurrected from the grave, amen and how that he walked and talked with, a matter of fact, just before this event, amen, we find Jesus uh, being there with his uh, apostles, amen and as he was uh, standing there and uh, telling them uh, to go to the upper room and to wait on the promise of God. Uh, the disciples, amen, 
amen, they seen him a sin up out of their sight, amen, and he was taken out of their sight, and they was two there in white apparel, and said, why do you men of Galilee stand here a-gazing for this same Jesus that went away, is coming again in like manner, amen, and then we uh, go through the scripture, and we find out how that uh, they was empowered with the Holy Spirit of God, and amen, we find on the day of Pentecost, amen, as all of them had come together, and what a message that Peter had preached on that day, and we find out, amen, in chapter number three of how Peter and John, amen, who was co uh, coming from the temple, amen, and they eyes fastened upon the beggar and the old beggar, amen, Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have in the name of Jesus, arise and walk, and we find uh, that powerful message, amen, that Peter preached there on that day, that it was about 3,000 souls added to the church, and uh, God added to the church daily, but Peter uh, had a message, amen, and boy, that message come uh, uh, right straight out of the throne room of heaven, boy, how we need, uh, amen, this seeming to be led of the Holy Spirit of God, uh, every time that we open up our mouth, every time we get uh, in behind the pulpit, amen, every time uh, that we have the opportunity to witness to somebody uh, along this life's journey, my, how that it would pay us uh, to be led of the Holy Spirit of God. We find Peter uh, and them here this day, amen, as they are uh, before the council, amen, there was her on that day. Uh, they couldn't deny that there was a miracle that it took place. Uh, amen, this scene, and boy, and I'm telling you, they begin uh, and a question Peter, and Peter, uh, through the boldness of God, amen, he told him, uh, he said, there's not another name given by and under heaven uh, uh, whereby man can be saved. Let me tell you something. Uh, uh, today, church is out in the world today. Uh, amen, boy, we need to get back to the basics. Uh, we need to remember it is on the count uh, of Jesus Christ that we're able uh, uh, to be able to stand and declare uh, unto you the word of God we find in the Old Testament and the New. Uh, amen. That the law could not save. Uh, amen. This scene of the law could not redeem anybody. A uh, uh, Religion cannot take your sins away. Uh, amen. A man praying for you. Uh, amen. This scene that cannot save you. Uh, uh, boy, but that power lies in one. Uh, and his name is Jesus. Uh, uh, the only begotten Son of God. Uh, amen. We find in the book of Acts, uh, uh, back over in the book of Corinthians, uh, amen, as Paul said, uh, he said, boy, he said, I'm determined uh, uh, not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ uh, and Him crucified. Uh, honey, might I tell you today, it ain't about the bigness of the building. Uh, it ain't about the number of people. Uh, amen, it ain't about the bank account that we got. Uh, uh, but it ought to be about this man. Uh, called Jesus Christ. Amen. We find the apostles here. Amen. Everything they done brought glory to one. And his name is Jesus. But I tell you today, amen, unless our preaching amen brings glory and honor unto the risen Lord. Honey, we're in bad shape. Amen. Unless our churches amen that we pastor we pastor that in a way uh, that he glorifies this one uh, called Jesus Christ. Uh, we're in bad shape. I uh, see because Peter said there's not another name given by uh, in under heaven whereby man can be saved except the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. See, God didn't sin. Amen. Whenever God sent a sacrifice to our son for our sins, he didn't sin many. Amen. He sinned one. Amen. Amen. This sin, and whenever God said there's only one way to get a, uh, get a hold of me, he meant that. Amen. This sin, and you might turn me out there today. Amen. And you might belong to a church. Amen. That tries to bypass this man 
man called Jesus Christ. Hey, Amen. Might I tell you today, if you bypass him, you'll wind up in a place called Hell Shores. My name is what it is. Hey, Amen. This seen him because God sent his son. Hey, Amen. That his son might pay a ransom uh, uh, that we all might be able to go free. Hey, Amen. You say, preacher, you don't know what kind of religion uh, uh, that I've got. Boy, I'm telling you what, if you got something uh, beside Jesus Christ, that's all you got is religion. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Salvation is not a part of your program if you don't have him. Amen. We find here in the word of God in the book of Acts. Amen. It was the religious people. Amen. They come against the Lord in that day. It was the religious leaders. Amen. They seen them that had him before the council questioning him on how this miracle took place. Amen. It was the religious people all through the New Testament. Uh, amen. They told the apostles, uh, uh, you're no longer allowed to preach this man uh, uh, called Jesus. Boy, I'm telling you what. Uh, uh, buddy, they realized one thing. Uh, uh, whenever Peter and John spoke on that day, uh, they realized one thing, that these boys uh, had been with Jesus. Amen. Uh, uh, might I ask you a question out there today? Uh, amen. When you open up your mouth, uh, amen, and begin to give your opinion, Opinion. Hey, can people tell you been with Jesus? Amen. Hey, do you have the power of God upon your life? Amen. That'll make a difference in somebody's life. Listen, today we live in a society. We live in a world today you can buy religion at 10 cents a dozen. Amen. But boy, I'm telling you, there's salvation in only one. Amen. What we ought to be doing today. Amen. We ought to be thanking him, amen, for what he done for an old wretch like me, an old sinner like me, how that he was able to die on the cross 2,000 years later, amen, me be touched by the blood of the Lamb and cleansed from my sin. Honey, there's power in the name of Jesus where there's no power anywhere else. First Peter said, I said, boy, we're not redeemed by corruptible things, but by the precious blood of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, honey. I'm telling you today, we come to a time in our nation and a time in our country, we need to get back to the basics of praising God. Amen. We need to get back to the basics. We need to get back to where we realize that He is the only one, amen, that can save us from our sins. He is the only one that can redeem us. He's the only one that has the power to be able to set us free. Amen. This scene, now, honey, I'm telling you today, religion ain't going to cut it. Salvation is so much different, amen, than what religion is. Amen. You look at this uh, beggar, amen, that they had healed a couple of chapters back. Amen. Whenever Peter and John come to him, amen, and he was sitting there begging for alms, amen, Peter told him, he said, son, he said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have in the name of Jesus. Amen. Arise up and walk. Can't you imagine? Amen. This scene that that young man, boy, he had a feeling in them legs. Amen. Like he had never had before. He had a feeling to go through his body like he had never had before. My friend, might I tell you today, people said, well, you can't, uh, you can't uh, express uh, salvation. Uh, you, you can't let it be determined on your feeling. Might I tell you today, amen, if you come to him and kneel down, amen, and ask him to come into your life and come into your soul, amen, and if you don't feel anything, amen, that's a sure sign you didn't get anything, amen. Listen today, because when Jesus comes in, he cleanses up everything about us, so how about it? And today, we need to get back to the basics, amen. If you're in a church,
church today, amen, that is not preaching that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior of all. Amen. You need to get out of that one and find you another one. Amen. If you're in a church today, amen, that is worried about the money situation and that's all they got on their mind. Amen. And they ain't a glorifying God. You need to get out of that. Amen. Find you one. Amen. That'll bring praise and honor unto the lovely name, the name of Jesus. You say, preacher, this ain't very popular. Amen. We ain't here to win a popularity contest. Amen. We're here to tell you that your soul is in line. Amen. The boy, and I'm telling you, if that soul ain't never met this man called Jesus, you will die and bust tail wide open. Listen today, I'm telling you that the salvation that Peter and them was talking about, it works from the inside out. It changes the heart. It takes the guilt away. It makes us free, John said. When the truth shall set you free, you shall be free indeed. Listen today, it's about time the churches in America took a stand for this man called Jesus Christ because there is salvation in none other than the only begotten Son of God. He sent one lamb. One lamb died. One lamb arose. One lamb is sitting at the right hand of the Father. I remember in Revelation chapter 5 as John wept. Amen. And then he was touched and he looked up and he seen a lamb slain from the foundation of the world there in the courtroom of heaven. Might I tell you today, he's alive and he's well and he's wanting to save you this morning. We just need to get back to the basics. Get back to the basics and let God be God. Amen. Get back to the basics of letting Jesus be the only one that can save us. Only one that can redeem us. Amen. Get him back to the basics. Amen. And to where we believe this good old gospel. Amen. For it is the power of God unto salvation, man, that believe. Amen. If you called upon him. Amen. If you called upon the sweetest name that has ever been spoken. Have you called upon this man called Jesus Christ? Amen. And ask Him to come into your life. I'm telling you what today. Amen. We got people that go to the altar. Amen. They kneel down. They say they got saved. Amen. They can cuss like a sailor and out drink a fish. Might I tell you what? Amen. If you're in that kind of life today. Amen. You ain't met the same God that I had. Amen. You ain't met this same Jesus because this same Jesus. Amen. He'll take them filthy words out of your mouth. He'll take that drinking habit away from you. Amen. He'll shine you up. Amen. And set you out on a mission. Amen. That we might win people for this man called Jesus Christ. So if you're interested in being saved today, remember what Peter said. He said, there's not another name given by and under heaven whereby man can be saved. Amen. Paul said, I'm determined not to know anything. Amen. Uh, anything but Jesus Christ and him crucified. And Peter said, we're saved by the precious blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Sit down, write us a line, give us a call. Amen. We look forward to hearing from you this week.